What is up guys, Matt from School Busters and today we're on Gran Turismo 7. Uh, now the update has been dropped today. Brand new update, update 1.11. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the World Circuits experiences. So if we head over to World Circuits, the later stages of the cafe books, uh, all the races have been updated. So if we head over to Sardegna Windmills, that has been slightly increased. That's been slightly increased. Uh, they have all been increased. Catalonia. So as you can see there, five laps. These all have been increased, okay? So, up next, there has been a brand new race that's been added, which is just right here. I've just not completed the box to show you. Sagdegno uh, is the same. There's one right here. It also has incre increased with so head over to Tokyo. Has it also been? There's also another one that's been added and it's also increased. I'll show you right now. So there you go. These three races have been added Tokyo Express, Eats, Clockwise, the 724 hour Le Mans race, and the 800 Sagdegna Road track hey has been added to the game once you complete the cafes obviously i've not completed my cafe because i still need to do the final championship okay moving on number two circuit experiences so let's go and show you this so i've done a video on how to redeem your currency and how to redeem all your circuit experience credits so if you head over to the Nürburgring for instance and if you go on circuit experience it's now the payout is now five million on here so as you can see that is five million to get gold on the Nürburgring okay but however if you was to go into the Nürburgring or any other circuit experience to redeem your money you've got gold on every single one of them all you have to do is press exit and then you'll get your money Okay, so up next, we've got uh, the lobbies and daily races all have been, uh, payouts have been increased. The camera has been updated. The Manufacturers Cup and Nations Cup has also been updated with a helmet thumbnail specified. A room mode has been set for practice and endurance race. And the change camera movements before races also have been updated, okay? Number four, missions. So let's get straight into this one. So each uh, this brand new set of the Human Commander, if you head over to missions, you unlock this at level 23. I'm at level 40, so it unlocks at level 23. Here is going to be the Human Commander. Uh, Commander. So this is one hour, eight races right here. This is eight hours worth of content. However, you do get 1.2 million uh credits obviously you'll get more if you do a clean race as well so i think it'll be one point what's that uh 1.8 million an hour if you get the clean race don't forget if you only get the clean race so that's a lot of money right there if you get gold in a clean race okay so racing information has been added to the missions uh, the best time records for the time limit events have now all been updated to ranking numbers and that's with all the 30 minute, the 24 minute and the uh, 20 minute race around Bathurst. All the rankings have been updated. Uh, you don't need to worry about it, it's just if you beat it, your whole thing will be updated. No, nothing need to panic about, okay? Number five, game progression so as you're all aware that the cap has been increased from 20 million to 100 million credits okay and invitations now last a month and not 14 days okay the used car and legendary car dealerships have all been added uh, so it's been another five slots have been added to the legendary car dealership okay And the used car dealership, I don't know how many slots have been added, but this is a total of 30 right here. Uh, for cars, a Mazda has been, Mazda RX-7 has been updated. 
uh, a Toyota Sprinter has also been updated. The livery ed editor, the Subaru WRX Group B roll car has been updated. Uh, the Ferrari F430 has been updated and the Ferrari F8 Tributo has been updated. Okay, we're talking about the car physics simulation here right now. So on the dirt tracks on Sardegna windmills, if you go over the last bump before the finishing line, you're going to go flying, or you was going to go flying, because it's now been patched, yeah, it's been updated, and so you now can tackle that corner a lot more faster, and you can bring them uh, times down, okay? So they have also been updated. Okay, so when you looking at the vehicle speed and the speedometer on on the cars in the online races this is sometimes different this has now been patched um, something with the prius and the aqua s has also been updated car settings for the anti-lag system uh, has been updated okay so going into the tuning shop after cancelling it and purchasing it it's all been updated Okay, so you can no longer take any shortcuts during a race because that's all been updated. So now you will now get a penalty all the time if you take shortcuts. Also, Goodwood has been updated. So if you was to cross the white line, either coming out of the pits or before the pits, you will now get a penalty. And the pit stop at Daytona has also been updated. Custom races, balance of a BOP settings can be turned on or off if the players cars are them particular groups so rival cars ai has been updated so if it's absolutely thrown it down and the, they all came in changed the tires to wet and they come out of the pits they will no longer be slow uh, this was an issue on this uh, high speed ring for is it gone with the wind it might have been that one not Sakubo, not 24 hours, it's that particular one where they all came out of the pits and they're just absolutely slow. I had that issue. Uh, coming out of, uh, in online races, the cheat where if anyone had a bit of a laggy start will, also, will go first or stay in the rolling start due to the network issues it has all been updated. And quality of smoking race photos have been updated for the graphics. Uh, debris will no longer enter the cockpit if you're inside the car, if you was to crash. And the graphics are drawing off smoke when we see through car windows. The replays have been updated. And all the sound there is all being updated. Okay, the display ghost has been slightly updated. I don't know what it exactly means, but it has been updated. Some more settings have been updated to temporary exposure. For car collection, they've added three more features to the car collection. There you go. GT Auto has uh, been updated. Uh, two trophies have been, no, sorry, one trophy has been updated, and that's really good fun, where you've got to buy 10 sets of wheels at GT Auto. The title screen has been updated, the steering controllers have been updated, and that is pretty much it. Uh, the final announcement is that you cannot sell your car yet, or you can, you can discard it, but you don't get any credits for it. This will come later out in the month, and that is pretty much it. 24-hour uh, races are also coming out later in the month as well. And there we go. So thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. And I'll see you soon. Adios.